Hello, in the next section we'll be discussing some simple one-step synthesis problems well, where we will predict the reagent we need to accomplish the transformation. So in the first example here we have an addition reaction which we've learned a lot of in this chapter where we are adding X and Y across a double bond or we could add uh, we could replace, say, uh, X with a Y in a substitution reaction, which we talked about in the last chapter. Or we could pull off an X and an H to give us an elimination reaction, which we also discussed in the last chapter, to produce an alkene. So we've learned to do all of these things. In this example, we're trying to predict the reagents and conditions that will allow us to go from left to right, from starting material to product. So in this case, we're adding an OH. We're also adding a hydrogen that isn't shown, so we're adding H and OH across a double bond in Markovnikov fashion, creating a tertiary alcohol. So we can simply use H3O+, plus or acid in the presence of water, which you can see here. <coughs> okay. So let's see if we can identify the reagents we need to accomplish these transformations. So for the first one, we're going from an alkene to an alcohol. We got the less substituted alcohol. So we're going to use, so we're adding H and OH across the double bond in anti-Markovnikov fashion. So we're going to use hydroboration oxidation. So that's our BH3, THF, H2O2, NaOH. Okay. So I do recommend that you make a lot of flashcards and memorize all of these reagents. In the next one, we're getting an elimination reaction, and we're getting the less substituted alkene, which is our Hoffman product. So all we need for this is a big bulky base, okay, like potassium T-butoxide. In the next one, we're adding H and Br across an alkene in anti-Markovnikov fashion, where our Br goes to the less substituted side. So remember, that's our HBr in the presence of peroxide. Next, we've just added two hydrogens across our double bond, so this is our hydrogenation reaction, so just H2 in the presence of platinum catalyst. And the next one we have, we've added H and Cl in Markovnikov fashion, so this is just HCl added across our double bond. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.